Okay, so I thought I'd do another look with the High Shine colors. Um, and so today I'm going to use High Shine Moonshine. Um, and it's basically kind of got a plum tone underneath and then sort of the sparkle of the High Shine bit is kind of pink um, and maybe a little multicolored. And I think all the High Shine kind of like the real shiny bits are um, multicolored. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I already have it on this eye and I don't know if you can see it, but just by itself, it's that's all I have. I just have the high shine moonshine and kind of blend it a little into the crease with some mascara and maybe a little highlight under the eyebrow. You'd be good to go, I think. It makes a nice, quick, simple eye. So I really like these um, because they're really easy to use and because the light catches them differently depending on you know where it is on the arc of your eye. You know, you get the more shine near the inside of your eye and then it looks a little darker um, on the outer corner and in your crease. So anyway, just another option. So I'm going to start with the High Shine Moonshine and just dab a little bit, kind of like that. All right, I'm going to take my brush and blend it out a little. Even though these look good by themselves, they're also really great for layering. Um, as well. Okay. Um, all right. <laughs> I changed the position of the camera, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of Magnificent Pearl um, from the recent uh, Pearl auto delivery from QVC and put that in the crease. And even though I sort of blended the um, moonshine all the way into the crease, you can just Put the um, Magnificent Pearl over it and it just darkens it a little bit and blends with it really nicely I think. So I found especially with Frost, the High Shine Frost, um, that one really looks nice with other colors over it. Um, I'm going to post pictures of all the shadows um, on my blog. I might even make a slideshow of all the looks that I did with the high shine colors this week. Um, but I think frost is really versatile actually. Uh, okay. I think everyone's eyes are just a little bit asymmetrical, and mine are, and so it's sometimes a little hard to get them co completely even. Okay, now I'm just going to take a little bit of Starlight and put it under the brow, kind of blend out the edges of the crease color. So this is a good way, always, if it kind of looks like you have too harsh of a line there in the crease, or like right above the crease to take the lighter color and then just kind of using a you know a sort of stiffish crease brush this is the elf uh, contouring brush um, and just do little circles to blend out that area and then you don't look like you have such a harsh line there it can also fade the color a little bit too so if you feel like the color is just perfect you might not want to go back over it with a lighter color I like using this brush if I do the highlight color last. Usually I do it first and end up, you know, just getting a good wash of color with my um, Bare Essentials blending brush. That's usually what I do. Um, but if I need to be a little more careful, using a brush with a point like this is helpful. Another one that's kind of like that is the Sonia, whatever her name is, brush. <laughs> um, I'm not sure they make this with this kind of synthetic fiber anymore, but 
they do make one that's similar. Um, but something like that. The elf, one, the elf one works well too. Just a little. It's almost like a little ball at the end. <laughs> can really get into your inner corner. Okay. I think that's about it. Starlight is really pretty. This is one of the newer colors from Bare Essentials. Um, it was in a kit, like one kit that was like, I don't know, on bareessentials.com and and then they released it as a single and it's it's very pretty. It might be too much shimmer for some people so if you feel like you're do overdoing it with a shimmer you might want to go with something a little more matte. You know, you could use uh, like Hugs or Lilac Vibe or any of those sort of more matte purpley pinks um, would be great, anything like that. All right. Okay, so I'm going to finish with uh, some yoga. Uh, this is, <clears throat> I don't know, uh, it's a kind of black cherry kind of color. Uh, and I think it looks really good with brown eyes. It's um, really pretty. It's not too red. I mean, it, it registers kind of dark, so it's not like you'll have glowing red right next to your eyes or anything. And uh, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite liners. Um, the starlight kind of has these interesting, it almost looks like snow crystals or something, sparkle in it. And so when this photographs, if you see like little bright spots of sparkle, that's the starlight, not the moonshine. Starlight's really pretty. It seems to have just a slight peach tone to it though. So it's not like a true pink. I think it also has both a sheen and a sparkle, which is interesting. I bet it looked good foiled. All right, I think that's good. <laughs> so that's the liner. And uh, all right. Okay, I don't usually, you know, show you my mascara <laughs> escapades, but I thought I would just add it today. Someone suggested it, so. Here you go. I'm using the Buxa mascara. I got a sample of this a long time ago, and I think I used it once or twice, and then, I don't know. I'm always trying new mascara, so it got lost in the shuffle, and then I rediscovered it, and I really like it. Uh, it's a pretty dark mascara, and the brush really grabs your lashes, so you can really get in there. Um, and kind of combs them, so I, I think it's, you know, easier to prevent kind of clumping. And it's not really clumpy at all, so. And you can kind of just put the tip of the wand right up against the outer corner lashes. And then, because the brush is kind of grippy, you can go at an angle and get those outer corner lashes pretty well. And the inner ones too. And I think it does kind of give you a little bit of a curl too. Just a little bit. Mm. All right. There you go. All right. Well, thanks for watching.